there. Uh, finally, inked over his hair. And uh, yeah, I have been doing some prep work for this, so uh, yeah, but that's okay. That's why they come out with the words earlier than the 1st of October. So I, I'm glad about that. I thought I would use a new sketchbook uh, for this event. Start of a new. Ah, this knitted eraser is everywhere. I'm starting to get a bit old, I think. Um, the first word is dream and the thing is i think i want to do houses try and make everything every inktober 2023 with houses and i want to use the words prompts um that inktober has come out uh out with um Inktober official and the, the first name uh, first word is dream and uh, the first thought into my head is dream house uh, and what is my dream house it is a tree house so I think I'm gonna do a tree house uh, and I to start off with I want to show you every step that I do. I I don't like to start on the first page of a new sketchbook, and even the sketchbook isn't really doing that well. So I start actually on the one, two, three, four, five, fifth page, just to get a clear like. Uh, separation of the pages um yeah i'm gonna show you every step but i'm not gonna talk through the whole thing so uh if you will join me that is um fabulous um do so and enjoy inktober and i'm gonna try and do it in time lapse and because of the views of my videos seems to be more liked and more viewed when I have like 10 to 15 minutes videos. Uh, I'm <clears throat> well, you can comment below if you like it or not. Uh, maybe I can change it throughout um, this month. Uh, but first off, I uh, will do a uh, tree well a dream tree house stay tuned
Okay, so uh, this didn't this didn't turn out the way I hoped. Um, some days will be like that in October, uh, but it was just a bummer. It was it was the first day. Uh, this I I planned on using this Winston Newton ink Indian ink, but it didn't open. The lid is stuck. And I can't open it, so I have to have some help with that. Um, the other things I used was this Winter and Newton Calligraphic Ink Sepia for the brown. I like the color, but it seems to be some sort of spots when I use it. So I don't know if it's getting old or what it is. I don't like the spots. Um, I used Amsterdam acrylic ink, uh, ochre. I love that. And the Prussian blue from Liquitex acrylic ink. I like that as well. So I used uh, these and just blended it. I also used some black with watercolor because I didn't have the Indian ink. Uh, I used the Da Vinci 4 and I used uh, Michael Smith um, number 2. I love the pencils. Um, you can uh, see www.shopmichaelsmith.com and you can get these pencils. They are great. I used uh, Posca pen, white. I used Micron PN N number one and two from Micron. And I used this Uni pen, fine liner 003. Yep, I think that is it. And of course I used a pencil. Um, yep, sometimes you just don't get it. Um, this, uh, it's okay, but I'm not happy with it. And it's supposed to be a sketchbook, so it's okay. Uh, but in my head, it was different. So maybe I should, I, I want to continue with the houses and the cute little animals. And maybe drop the figure. Uh, but I I so enjoy making clothes with um, patterns. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, and if you can see all the kittens, count them. And a little person hanging in a tree, tree house. So I enjoy the idea, and of course it's her dream, and dream is the word, uh, but wasn't really executed well enough, I think. So um, maybe tomorrow will be better, and uh, good luck with your Inktober. Uh, yep, have a whimsical evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.